Hi friends, today we will see how to install Ubuntu 24.04 Server Edition. To download this operating system, go to Google, write Ubuntu 24.04 Download. If you want to download the Server Edition, go for Server Edition. Here you can see the ISO image is of 2.6 GB and the system requirement is 1 GB of processor, 1 gigahertz of processor, 1 GB, 1 GB of system memory and 5 GB of free hard disk space. As you know, this server operating system doesn't come with GUI. This works with only with command line. That's the reason it's taking very less space and the memory is also it's very less compared to desktop version of operating system to download this hit download to save time i have already downloaded the operating system so let's pause it and directly we will go for the installation process we are installing this operating system using oracle vm virtual box hit click new this is just the standard process for the virtual machine creation Anyhow, we will be giving the name and the host name and the username in the later part of the video while installing the operating system. Let's give as test as it will be default. The location let it be default. Let's go for the this is the Ubuntu 24.04 server edition operating system ISO image. It's already taken as Linux and the version is Ubuntu 64 bit. Hit next. It's taking the username. Let's give test and the password is test123. Test123. So the host name it has already taken as test. Hit next. So here we have to give the assign the resource for this virtual machine. By default, it has taken 2 GB of memory. So we will increase it to 4 GB. So here it's asking for the processor core. It, by default, it has taken one core. So let us give three codes as my laptop is having eight codes. Click next. And by default, it has taken 25 GB of hard disk space. Click next. You can verify the final configuration. You have given 4 GB of memory and three processor cores and 25 GB of hard disk. Click finish. Now the virtual machine is coming on. This VM. Virtual box, Oracle Virtual Box is a free and open source operating tool. You can install any operating system virtually. As of now, I will close the notification panel. As you can see, the display is very small. To increase the video display size, go for view and select scale mode. Click switch. Now you can view the screen on full screen mode. Now the installation is about to start. Now it's asking for the language. We'll select English. Now it's asking for the installer updates. We will go for continue without updating because we are just testing this machine so we will go for continue without updating now it's asking for the keyboard layout let it be english by default click done now it's asking for the installation it's asking for ubuntu server or ubuntu minimized so we will go for ubuntu server with the default packages if you want if you select the ubuntu server minimized most of the packages will not be installed let us select Ubuntu server, click done. Now here it's asking for assigning the IP address of the MIG card. So this as we are installing the operating system in VirtualBox. So let it be DHCP, click next, done. It's asking for the proxy, let it be default, click done. It's asking for the repository mirror image, next, done. Continue. 
now it's asking for the configuration of your hard drives so let us select the custom configuration use the entire disk so if you want to do the custom installation like specifying your home root or swap memory so you can do this by selecting this one so for the testing purpose we are doing the custom installation use the entire disk hit done now you can see the final configuration we have selected we have given 25 gb of our hard disk space now here you can see it has taken as 22.9 gb let it be default here you can see local disk of 25 gb hit done it's asking for the confirmation selected con selecting continue will be begin the installation process and result in the loss of data in the disk as we know it is getting formatted click done continue it's asking for the your name just for the testing purpose we will write name as test server name is also test username also we will do it as test and the password we will select it as test123 and confirm password test123 hit done now it's asking for the upgrading so we will not update the operating system now later part of the video after installation you can continue you can update the packages by doing sudo update and sudo upgrade you can upgrade your operating system click continue if you want to install open ssh you can install it straight away from here as you don't have the gui you can connect this server from any of the remote machine so as of now we will not install the SSH as we are not connecting this machine with any of the remote machines hit done so it's asking if you want to install any additional packages as of now we will not select any additional packages hit done now the installation process is starting as the installation process goes let me give you some brief information about the Ubuntu 2404 Ubuntu 2404 the code name is Noble Nomad it's a significant release marking 20, 20 years of Ubuntu's existence. The long-term support LTS version offers 5 years of free security and maintenance updates and extendable to 12 years with Ubuntu Pro support. As you all know, Ubuntu is a open source and a free operating system. With the free support, you can go up to 5 years of security and maintenance and it is it can receive the standard support until April 2029 so still five years remaining you can use this operating system without any issue this operating system 2404 comes with Linux kernel 6.8 and in its system system D with version 255.4 and network stack netplan version 1.0 the file system is default file system is ext4 and with the support of ZFS and DTRFS. For the security concern of a point of view, it's App Armor enabled by default with AC Linux support also available. In this operating system, the notable features are enhanced IO performance and better memory management. You have the container support update, updated to LXD and Docker version for better container management. And about virtualization, it has improved KVM and QEMU support for virtual machines. And for the cloud aspects, optimized for cloud deployment with better support for AWS, Azure and Google Cloud. So this was the brief note on this operating system. This operating system was launched on April 2024 and the support ends on April 2025. If you have the Pro support, Ubuntu Pro support, the security and maintenance updates you will be getting till April 30, April 2034. So this is a server operating system. So here you will not be getting any GUI mode. If you want any GUI mode, then you need to install the desktop version. Most of the present day servers comes with server operating systems and most of the servers and supercomputers are equipped with Ubuntu. Ubuntu is a very strong community which gives long support and 
no, the, the installation has been completed. Now it's asking to reboot. Let us reboot now. Now the system is getting rebooted and the Ubuntu 24.04 is installing. It's getting booted for the first time. This is a very simple and easy way of installing. Then now we can see the login prompt. As you know, we have given the username as test and the password is test123. Now you can see we are successfully logged into the mesh to the operating system. So if you want to see the version of the kernel and uh, and the uh, version of the operating system you can type host name ctl hit enter now you can see the host name what we gave was test and it's a vm virtualization is oracle and operating system version is ubuntu 2404 lds with the kernel version of linux 6.8 so that's it so by this you can start using this operating system if you want to upgrade the packages you can do sudo update then once the package is getting ready then you can go for sudo upgrade hit enter so all the packages will be upgraded to the latest version so i will make a separate video regarding all these configurations and and setting up the operating system server operating system do let me know if you have any queries if you have any questions please comment on the below comment below if you if you want to make any such videos about this please let me know thank you for watching my videos and thank you for supporting me thank you friends see you in my next video